Beneath the Grand Canyon's towering cliffs, scientists have uncovered something no one expected. A gap in time nearly 1.2 billion years long. It's not just missing rock, it's a vanished chapter of Earth's history. What they've just found changes everything we thought we knew about the canyon and the planet itself. The canyon's secret history. The Grand Canyon is more than a dramatic slice of geology. It's a sacred text written in stone for at least 11 indigenous nations, including the Havasupai, Hopi, Navajo, and Zuni. This canyon isn't just land, it's ancestral memory. For the Havasupai people, the canyon is a spiritual passageway, a gateway through which the soul journeys after death. To others, it's the place of emergence, the point where life itself rose to the surface. These aren't just stories, they are living cosmologies, tying physical features of the land to spiritual meaning. The layers of sandstone, limestone, and schist are not only geological, they are narrative layers, where every cliff and cavern speaks to creation, to the sacredness of the earth, to cycles of life and death. What's extraordinary is that these beliefs align with the canyon's dynamic nature. Though it looks static, it's a product of constant movement, uplift, erosion, collapse, rebirth. A place where myth and geology both tell a story of transformation. Now with new discoveries reshaping what we know about the canyon's origins, one question looms large. Could the Grand Canyon be more than landscape? Could it be a message? The Geological Masterpiece The formation of the Grand Canyon didn't happen overnight. Its story begins over five million years ago, when a lake breach triggered the Colorado River to cut deeply through layers of uplifted rock. Since then, water, wind, and time have sculpted a staggering network of cliffs, canyons, and gullies. The river didn't just carve a path, it exposed the strata of Earth's deep history, creating a timeline embedded in stone. What you see today, those towering red walls and vast chasms, is not merely scenery, it is a record. Each layer represents an ancient environment, shallow seas, vast deserts, even volcanic ash falls. Some rocks in the canyon are 1.8 billion years old, making them nearly half the age of the Earth itself. These layers were laid down long before humans walked the Earth, yet they now shape the land that defines part of our cultural and scientific identity. In a sense, the Grand Canyon is Earth's own autobiography. It has preserved its history in perfect, quiet order. Until now. Because researchers have just uncovered a gap in the story, a chapter that was missing, hidden, and possibly more important than any we've read so far. The missing chapter, The Great Unconformity. Beneath the Grand Canyon's majestic cliffs lies one of Earth's most haunting mysteries, a missing chapter of time, spanning up to 1.2 billion years. This silent gap, known as the Great Unconformity, is where relatively young Paleozoic rocks lie directly atop ancient basement stone, skipping over a vast portion of geological history. For decades, geologists puzzled over this void. How could such a massive section of Earth's timeline just vanish? Recent research suggests that the canyon's eastern and western halves were shaped by very different forces. These differences are tied to tectonic upheaval, possibly linked to the breakup of the supercontinent Rodinia. Using a technique called thermochronology, scientists track the cooling of rocks, revealing when they rose to the surface. The findings suggest that different parts of the canyon were sculpted and exposed at different times like disconnected puzzle pieces across deep time. This isn't just about geology, it's about Earth's memory. That missing time might contain clues about ancient oceans, vanished mountains, or early life itself. The canyon, it turns out, is not just a record, it's a redacted manuscript, one whose erasures speak just as loudly as its layers. When Myth Meets Science To the indigenous peoples of the Southwest, the Grand Canyon is a place of sacred meaning, a living entity, a spiritual crossroads. Their stories speak of gods, ancestors, and origin, a land that was shaped with purpose and spirit. Now science is beginning to echo the same awe with discoveries that frame the canyon as a keeper of cosmic memory. The convergence of geology and mythology reveals something profound. Both are attempts to explain where we come from, 
The great unconformity isn't just a hole in rock layers. It's a symbolic silence, a lost epic that mirrors the mystery at the heart of many tribal stories. One narrative is carved in clay tablets and sacred songs, the other in sediment and stone. But they're not in conflict. When science uncovers what was once hidden, it doesn't erase tradition. It expands it. It proves the canyon is layered not just in minerals, but in meaning. So we're left with a deeper question. What else is hidden in plain sight? And if the canyon itself holds truths we've only begun to understand, might its greatest message still be waiting to be read? The discovery that shook the story. In the spring of 1909, a sensational article appeared in the Arizona Gazette. It told of a man named G.E. Kincaid, who claimed to have discovered a vast underground city hidden deep inside the Grand Canyon. According to the report, the site included mummies, hieroglyphs, and weapons of copper. Evidence, it said, of an ancient civilization with supposed ties to Egypt or Tibet. Kincaid's account was extraordinary. He described tunnels extending for miles, chambers filled with artifacts, and stone carvings that didn't resemble anything native to North America. Most striking was the claim that the Smithsonian Institution had backed the expedition. For many, that gave the story immediate credibility. But here's the problem. There is no official record of this discovery. No photographs, no confirmed location, and the Smithsonian has consistently denied any involvement. Over time, this tale took on a life of its own, fueling conspiracy theories, treasure hunting myths, and fringe archeological claims. Still, the story refuses to die. For some, it's a cover-up. For others, it's just an old hoax. Yet it's undeniable that the idea of an ancient, buried civilization inside the canyon continues to spark imaginations. In a landscape already filled with mystery, one fantastical narrative clings to the rocks like an echo from the past. Why does it persist? Maybe because the canyon feels like the kind of place where secrets could hide. Its scale overwhelms, and its silence invites speculation, and so the tale of Kincaid's underground citadel lingers not as proven history, but as cultural myth. The deeper truth is this, whether or not there's a lost city beneath the canyon, the story itself reveals something powerful. We are drawn to what lies hidden. We crave the idea that history still has chapters left to uncover, that something forgotten might still be waiting. And in that sense, the myth has value, not as evidence, but as invitation. It calls us to look closer, to question, to dig deeper, not just into the earth, but into the assumptions we bring to it. Fact versus fiction, sorting the evidence. The Grand Canyon is fertile ground, not only for geology and history, but for myth. While the Kincaid story of mummies and Egyptian relics still circulates in books and online forums, academic researchers see no evidence supporting it. Responsible historians consider the 1909 Gazette article a likely fabrication possibly a hoax meant to stir interest and boost newspaper sales. Still, that hasn't stopped countless investigators, conspiracy theorists, and alternative historians from chasing the story. Some point to restricted areas of the canyon suggesting secrecy. Others cite unexplained formations or unusual rock carvings. But these claims rarely stand up to scrutiny. The canyon's remote terrain, combined with natural formations that often mimic man-made shapes, offers more illusion than revelation. What's truly remarkable, though, is that real science continues to reveal even more astonishing things than the myths ever promised. The study of the canyon's formation has opened new windows into Earth's deep-time events, like the Great Unconformity, which reveals the staggering age and complexity of our planet's surface. Tools like thermochronology, geophysical modeling, and sediment analysis are now uncovering data about tectonic activity, erosion patterns, and even ancient environmental conditions. In short, the canyon's rocks hold truths far more profound than fiction. There's an irony here worth noting. While people chase stories of lost tombs and underground chambers, the real mystery is even grander. How a river carved through nearly two billion years of stone, revealing the fractured memory of Earth itself. And maybe that's the bigger story. Our tendency to reach for the exotic can sometimes blind us to the extraordinary that's right in front of us. The Grand Canyon doesn't need mummies or pharaohs to be astonishing. 
It already contains a timeline more ancient than any kingdom. In the end, the truth is this. Myths and legends serve a purpose. They pull us in, they ignite curiosity. But science gives us something deeper, a mirror into the past, a glimpse of the planet's origins, and a clearer view of how we came to be. And that, perhaps, is the most remarkable discovery of all. Why it matters, the ancient code of the Earth. The Grand Canyon is not just a marvel, it's a message. Its walls hold not only layers of rock, but layers of meaning, encoded through time. And at the center of that message lies one of geology's most profound ideas. Earth remembers, but not like we do. The great unconformity, that massive gap in the canyon's rock record, is more than just missing time. It reflects planetary trauma, events so vast they defy imagination. Entire mountain ranges once stood where the canyon now yawns. They were worn away, erased by the forces of erosion, collision, and continental drift. These missing layers are clues not just to Earth's geology, but to its evolving story. The rise and fall of supercontinents, the birth of ancient seas, the disappearance of entire ecosystems. What we see is just the surface. The real story is written in absence, in what isn't there. And here's where it becomes personal. Our human history is barely a footnote compared to this scale. The canyon reminds us that our world, our cultures, cities, technologies, are built atop something infinitely older and more complex, the numbers are staggering. Some canyon rocks are 1.8 billion years old. The Colorado River's incision began around 5 million years ago, and humans have occupied the surrounding plateau for barely 12,000 years. These figures put things in perspective. But the canyon doesn't just humble, it instructs. It tells us that the Earth is a system, and like any system, it has rules, memory, and momentum. Ignore those and we lose the context for everything we think we understand. So why does this matter? Because the Earth's story is still unfolding. Climate change, tectonic shifts, erosion, and extinction, these are not new phenomena, but old cycles repeating with new variables. The Grand Canyon is a lesson in longevity, in cause and consequence. It teaches us to read the world differently, not as something static, but as something scripted, dynamic, living, and maybe most crucially, it reminds us that not all knowledge is visible. Some truths lie buried, some stories are told in silence, and some of the most important messages are etched not in ink, but in stone. The present and future, what researchers are doing. The Grand Canyon is no longer just a tourist site, it's a scientific frontier. Researchers today use cutting edge tools to uncover its hidden past. One key method is thermochronology, which tracks how minerals cool as rocks rise to the surface. This helps scientists trace erosion, tectonic shifts, and ancient climate events. What they're discovering is striking. The canyon didn't form all at once. Its eastern and western regions have separate geological histories shaped by different forces over time. This challenges the idea of a single unified carving event. By linking these findings to larger global events, like supercontinent breakups and ice ages, scientists are learning how local landscapes mirror planetary change. Technology is advancing quickly. Laser scanning, satellite imagery, and digital elevation models now let researchers build 3D maps of the canyon with unprecedented detail. What once took decades can now be done in months. But this research is about more than rocks. It's about understanding Earth's long-term behavior, recognizing patterns, and preparing for future shifts. The canyon isn't just a relic, it's a living archive, a system that speaks if you know how to listen, and researchers are finally learning its language. Hidden Dimensions, what the canyon teaches about us. The Grand Canyon isn't just about geology, it's a mirror. Its layers do more than record time, they reflect us. The deeper you look, the more you realize that this isn't just a natural wonder. It's a metaphor for civilization itself. Just as stone preserves the movements of ancient rivers, continents, and climates, our societies preserve beliefs, systems, and hierarchies built long ago. The canyon reveals how things persist, not always visibly, but structurally, hidden in foundations. The rocks don't lie, and neither do the systems we've inherited. 
The Kincaid story, with its mystery of hidden chambers and ancient civilizations, is symbolic. Even if the tale isn't true, the desire behind it is, we are drawn to what's hidden. We want to believe there's something beneath the surface, something lost that explains who we are. But the real mystery isn't under the ground. It's in the assumptions we carry. Do we believe only what's visible? Do we dismiss stories because they sound too ancient or accept them too easily because they sound dramatic? The Grand Canyon teaches that the most important truths are often buried, not just in rock, but in story, memory, and silence. And it challenges us. Will we learn to read between the lines? In a world overwhelmed by information, the canyon reminds us to seek depth, to understand that what's missing is often as important as what's recorded. To look not just at what we've built, but what we've lost. And in that silence between layers, there's a haunting suggestion. Maybe the earth remembers more than we do. The ultimate question, what are you seeing? You stand at the rim of the Grand Canyon. The wind blows. The horizon stretches endlessly. But what are you actually seeing? A scenic view, a geological marvel, or a story? Because that's what the canyon is. A story written in stone. A text so massive you can walk inside it. And now, thanks to new research, we know it's also a palimpsest of hidden time, holding secrets from billions of years ago. We now understand that the canyon isn't just a physical space. It's a code, a pattern, a warning, a revelation. What lies beneath its cliffs isn't just granite and shale. It's the memory of a planet scripted by water, heat, pressure, and time. The missing chapters, the great unconformity, the contrasting histories of its eastern and western flanks, they're not just geological data points. They're reminders that history is never whole, that the world hides its deepest truths in plain sight. And that brings us to the final question. When you look at the Grand Canyon, what are you seeing? Is it just erosion and beauty? Or is it a message from the earth to you? Maybe the canyon isn't just there to be admired. Maybe it's waiting to be read. The Grand Canyon is no longer just a wonder to behold. It's a message carved in stone. From lost epics to evolving technology, what lies beneath its layers continues to surprise. The question now isn't what we see, but how we read it, because Earth's deepest truths may still be waiting.